So, hello, welcome back to Vision Studios. And in the previous video, we talked about the calculations modifier, and this is a series which is going on on our channel. Modifiers explained, and before that, we did mass explained. So, not explained and modifiers explained will be coming onto the channel regularly. So, yeah, subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell so that you never miss an coming video. Okay, and like this video too, and comment down below after watching this how you how you felt after watching this. If you got some value or not. If not, so why not? If yes, so why? So you know all that stuff. And yeah, if you're facing any queries or any problem with fusion editing motion graphics basically fusion so there's a link provided in the description below you can directly contact me okay from there you can book a call with me and from there on we'll see how things will work now in this one we'll be making this sort of cool little animation which we made using this simple rectangle but the main thing is not that the main thing is we made it using a path modifier over right here if i go to path in modifiers you can see just like that so how we made it and all the stuff let me just delete this rectangle and let's start from the magnet First things first, my workspace might be a little bit different from yours. If you want to have the same, go to workspace and layout presets, fusion presets. You can choose mid flow. From there on, you can check this line too. And you'll have the same workspace as mine. If you don't have your toolbar enabled, go to fusion and check this show toolbar. And right click onto your toolbar and check this default. Now, take a rectangle mask from here, just like that, and view it. Right now, it's like that. You know, make it a little bit smaller, something like uh, this. You can manipulate the size and width of the rectangle if you come onto this four corners of it okay so i did it like this or you can even change the width and height from the sliders too it's up to you how you want to make it it's a little bit easier for me to do it manually from just like just on the screen itself okay now to enable path modifier i'll right click on this center x and y and then check this path and boom we have this modifier panel enabled and there is this path over here and because you're on the zero frame it added automatically a keyframe over here okay this one you can see now what you have is this basic spline toolbar or Line toolbar, I don't know what to call it. Baseline toolbar over here. Now you can do control and middle mouse and you can increase or decrease the size of it too. So I'll increase it just a little bit so that you can see it properly. And now I'll click on this sh click append or shift C. That's the hotkey for it. Or you know, you can move it like this too. Now I'll take this center X and put it over here just for the first keyframe and Y also and make it something like this. And from there on, I'll make a path. So wherever I click, it will add a keyframe or a point over there. And when you are done, so click onto this insert and modify the hotkey is shift i select all shift s and we are done and i'll select these and bring them a little bit onto the middle just like that and i'll select this yeah and then i'll again select all and do shift s and add something like this now i'll fit this to view and what i'll do is right now nothing will happen okay it's not animating to animate it we need to back we need to go back to modifiers and double click onto this displacement over here now i'll change the value of this displacement to zero on the first frame and go to the last one and increase this to one just like that and if you'll see on spline if i do this fit to view zoom to fit whatever it is this display spline has been added which means it is animating if I play so you can see it's animating now what I want is it should also rotate itself wherever it's heading okay which means that we need to auto orient it this is called auto orient now to do that we need to go back to tools and when you add this it automatically calculates that auto orientation part that's why it's known as auto automatically orientation so to do that right click onto heading or angle to connect to now these are uh other modifiers which is available not modifiers but yeah keyframe values which is an which is available but in yours if you are following this tutorial from here only you'll just have this path one so choose heading and now if i play from the beginning you can see it's animating very simple very smooth and it looks so good right so now again do zoom to fit choose the displacement to control a and do shift s or f whatever you want to call it and hit T to get this ease in and ease out toolbox and now increase the ease in value to something like 80 and the ease out to 40 or maybe let me just to keep it as it is okay select all and hit F and one more thing I will need to maybe change it so that it goes away properly it's not going away properly yeah now it's fine and now you have this nice cute little animation okay well it's all possible because of path modifier over here now in this path modifier you can reduce the size of the polyline which you just made you can rotate it on x axis the y axis the z axis and also the heading offset if you want to x and y locations too now one more thing is there right click here for shape animation what does that mean well that means you can make any in the polyline so for example let me just take a polygon from here okay 
and in this polygon what i will do is i'll first stop the playhead and make something like this okay very random and you know something like that basically and then do shift i instead of modify and that's the path right now i want that cube to move onto this path how is that possible yeah that is possible first of all well we learned something in the first modifier video what was that actually not modify video it was in mass notes explained that was that we can publish any value how right click onto the shape animation over here remove polygon one polyline now right click again and choose publish and now you will see in modifiers you have this polygon polyline one published over here i will come back to this rectangle one again and come here onto this modifier and right click and choose connect to and do polygon one polyline and value and you see that published is now available into this modifier rectangles modifier now let's view this rectangle modifier and play well nothing is happening well you see it's not working this is a really really annoying or frustrating bug which i don't like at all in fusion okay many of my animations projects have been paused just because of this simple bug which is very very annoying i'm using the minchis all 18.6 studio version but it's just very frustrating so i might need to delete this path and you know add it again come back to center x and y right click choose path modifiers right click here for shape animation connect to polygon one polyline value and now you can see it has been added now i'll come back to path one and if you're still facing any problems try deleting this path and adding it again and you know messing around with this displacement it will help you a lot see it is working this time now i'll just add a keyframe over here onto zero go back to the last keyframe, last keyframe and changing it to one and it's if it's not working if it, this displacement value is stuck try uh, removing this keyframe and enabling it again okay it will work again fit to view control a f to make it smoother let's play well it's working now one more thing we should do is change the heading or position of it go back to tools right click onto angle connect to path one heading and it should work let's play now and see zip zip and it works well that is super cool now you know what more what is more crazier come back to this polygon because now they both are same so the view will show the same path now to this polygon one i'll select this and change the handle of it in real time and will affect it that's something which is crazy and i like about this technique well okay i mean like yeah here we can use it and it's very nice to be honest so you can do stuff like this and what did we use path modifier well you see the power of path modifier this is the power of path modifier guys and you can even keep adding points keep changing the polygon polyline and it will have a good effect i can put it over here Change this change this change it put it over here so you know something like that and now it will just keep animating just like that so you can create some random and very cool motion paths and it will auto orient itself on that path with this technique and not just auto orient it will have that motion path okay it will move on that motion path which is very very cool effect onto its own like this is very this is something which is very useful if you are a frequent animator and i don't know where you can use it it's up to you but yeah that's it for the path animation guys now again if you're facing any kind of problems in editing motion graphics if you're a beginner uh, in fusion and specifically if you're facing any problem with fusion you can contact me with the link provided in the description below and you can book a call with me and from there on we'll see how things will go okay and if you like this video then you know what to do like this video subscribe to the channel press the notification bell so that you don't miss any upcoming videos also there is a store from where you can get my project files okay check the latest one only i'm saying it honestly because the ones which are older they are not that good so check the only latest one files especially that iman gazis and many videos type of ones uh yeah those are very useful and you might be able to use them in your next project who knows there's also a discord server which you need to join yes you need to join that because people there are helping each other out you can be the one to help each other out like help your 
mates or you can be the one who can ask for help over there okay people are very supporting and yeah grow together that's it that's the motto of the discord server with that said that's what I'm sure for this one the more modifiers explain videos are in queue and yeah whatever if your suggestion there's a suggestion or of a review you want to share with me comment down below i'll look into it i look into every comment okay i'll see you in the next one peace out Thank you.